Hello Cancer, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, this is your reading for the last 15 days of November and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Cancer, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. Cancer, in this reading, we are going to see what is it that you need to know for the next 15 days, okay, or for your near future. So what I'm going to do, Cancer, is I'm going to pull out one tarot card and then I'm going to play around with uh, the oracle cards, alright? So let's get started, Cancer. Cancer, what is it that you need to know for the next 15 days or the near future? Cancer, what is it that you need to know for the next 15 days or the near future? What is it that you need to know for the next 15 days or the near future? Wow, we have Empress. Okay, interesting. Now, what is it that you need to know for the next 15 days or the near future? We have Maturity. And I'm going to use this booklet. True Love Reading Cards to explain this card. Okay. Now I'm going to pull out some Lenormand cards, Cancer. What is it that you need to know for the next 15 days? Too many cards. Too many cards. What is it that you need to know for the next 15 days or the near future, Cancer? What is it that you need to know for the next 15 days or the near future? Wow. We have a house. Eh, hey, interesting. And the romantic messages for you. Okay. What are the romantic messages for you, Cancer? What are the romantic messages for you? What are the romantic messages for you, Cancer? What are the romantic messages for you? All right. So Cancer, what you need to know, we have Empress over here. I see you are going to make efforts to relax yourself, especially you know that you have put in a lot of efforts, especially you know that you have uh, you have put in a lot of efforts and you have worked hard in your life you know that very well so you you want to take a break if not break I just see that you want to relax now you don't want to uh, you know Maybe, maybe in the past you were like a workaholic person, Cancer, You're working round the clock or you always loved keeping yourself busy or you always made sure that uh, you're putting in hard work and your hard work is, is giving you the benefits that you want or desire and if you're not getting the benefits then you're constantly trying to find solutions to the problems and making sure you're getting what you want so you are continuously busy whether on professional front or personal front and you have put in a lot of hard work towards whatever you want and you have acknowledged this cancer that you have put in a lot of hard work and in the next 15 days or in the near future i see that you will be just relaxing you will be spending time with yourself Okay, not that you you will you're totally gonna stop working. No, not that case. But the grinding that you were doing, maybe some of you were doing two jobs or three jobs. Some of you were like night doing nine to five job and then doing something of your own. Some of you were, uh, you know, indulging into a lot of businesses, multiple sources of income. And not that you're giving up these multiple sources of income. Not that you're stopping your work. Probably you're simply delegating responsibility to someone or maybe 
you have realized or maybe you'll start finding someone who can help you out in whatever you have built or whatever you have created so that you can relax a bit and you can watch whatever you have built you can watch it grow you want to enjoy the time you don't want to be this running around the running around the clock person okay for some of you you probably have achieved your professional goals and now you really want to focus on your personal life you're like that's it now i want someone in my life and i'm going to work towards that and once you start working towards whatever you want cancer you do not give up till the time you achieve it okay so i see like for many of you your personal goals have uh, taken the priority over your professional goals some of you you want to take a break you want to go on a vacation you want to go on a spiritual retreat for some of you you just want to sit back and relax and watch things happen in front of your eyes i mean positive things for some of you you are like delegating responsibilities to someone uh, i see that you really want to stop running around the clock and doing everything for everyone else okay uh say for example you are you uh, you have a sibling in your family and your mother and father are sick and you are the one who is taking the entire responsibility taking care of your parents and looking after them and doing everything and your sibling knows that i'm just giving you an example okay your sibling knows that you are taking care of your parents so they are not getting involved as much as they should be getting involved okay they are not taking care of their pa- care of your parents or they are not taking uh, responsibilities domestic responsibilities everything you have to take care about every single thing so probably i see a conversation happening between you and this person that is time that they also take up the responsibilities you probably will be delegating responsibilities to someone is what i'm getting if not responsibilities if this is not so this is one example this can be applicable this analogy can be used anywhere else as well uh if this is not a situation cancer then i simply see that you want to relax okay you want to think about your future you, you you're acknowledging the fact that you have worked really hard in your life and it's time for you to enjoy some simple pleasures as well okay and you have also realized uh, you will also be getting a lot of clarity about the kind of people you want in your life not just a romantic partner but the professional contacts or your near and dear ones the friends and everyone else the kind of people you are manifesting or soliciting in your life you will also get a lot of clarity about it is what i'm getting Now let's talk about this maturity card and like I told you I'm going to use this booklet okay so just a sec cancer it's on page number 60 I'll hold that card so let me find that page right so cancer what is the message for you as emotionally mature person knows that they are responsible for their own happiness Are you kidding me? You are trying to make yourself happy and that's why you will be delegating <laughs> certain things to other people. You want to find happiness in your life. You want to stop that grinding and everything, okay? Running around the clock stuff. You want to stop that. Uh one of the most unsettling and disappointing characteristics of many relationships is the lack of emotional maturity on one or both sides. an entire book could be written about this subject but we can boil it down to one powerful truth an emotionally mature person knows that their partner is not responsible for making them feel happy attractive secure or lovable an emotionally mature person knows that they are responsible for themselves in all the ways wow If you genuinely wish to attract an emotionally mature partner or want to improve the level of emotional maturity in your current relationship then you must be willing to look at yourself first no matter who you are your childhood your experiences in young adulthood and past lifetimes will have influenced you to believe that certain areas of your well-being are someone else's responsibility 
you have drawn this card today because the universe wants you to experience real love, happiness, attractiveness and security, not the false version that evaporate the minute you are on your own. Take some time to contemplate your emotional maturity, write your feelings in a journal or meditate. Let your inner guidance show you where you can love, acknowledge and support yourself more. Your beloved is there to complement and enhance your existing emotional maturity, to add to your life and for you to be an asset to his or hers. The sooner you are prepared to take responsibility for your own happiness, the sooner a loving partner will become available to multiply that happiness. Okay. So, how will you take responsibility for your own happiness? By doing things for yourself. How will you do things for yourself? First of all, stop doing unnecessary things for others. Okay, stop draining yourself by continuously doing for others. If your own cup is not filled up, you won't be able to give it to others. So make sure your own cup is filled up. And how you will ensure that your own cup is filled up? How you will ensure that your own en energy levels are at par? They are full. By trying to make yourself happy. If you have to make yourself happy, what you have to ensure? You are not draining yourself. Okay? You are not doing things for others to an extent which will sort of keep on draining you and you're not getting anything in return so hold yourself back it, the analogy the example which i had given you earlier it was it was absolutely conveying the same message cancer that if you are the one who is taking up the total responsibility in in a, in a situation okay and the other person is simply not taking the responsibility then either you need to tell them that this is their role and you cannot keep on dragging this entire situation. You cannot keep on taking the entire responsibility. It, they also have to play the role. They will also have to take up the responsibility, their part of responsibility. Okay. So you need to know that if you have to experience a happy connection, first of all, you have to make yourself happy, right? Okay. So we'll move on to Lenormand cards. Now let's talk about the Lenormand cards. Uh, I'm going to read out the message from this booklet. But we have this card, house. So for some of you, you will probably you are going to buy a home for yourself. You're, go you're going to book a property. You are manifesting this. You are manifesting buying a home for yourself, Cancer. Let's read the message. I'm also hearing stability. this is the one house the meaning of this card is family stability this is what I said right now then real estate protection the house card brings comfort stability and feeling of protection it refers to something important that may require much energy this can be a house in a circle of family or friends hobbies business or everyday duties at the same time the house indicates success and protects you from unpleasant issues. The house is about having courage and desire to fight for one's own interest. One's own interests. It conveys rest, confidence in the future and secure feeling of being in your own place on your own terms. It symbolizes people closely connected with the notion of home, households, blood relatives, owners or sellers of real estate, landowners or domestic workers. So either you are going to form a very good bond with someone in your life. I mean, I, I see uh, closeness with someone or some people. Say for example, you are becoming close to one specific person romantically or you are going to find new friends is what I am getting. Or, or if your relationship with your family was strained, that bond is going to grow all over again. Okay. In some cases, I see that you will be buying a home. Okay. You will be booking a real estate property for yourself. For some of you, you guys may be already scouting real estate properties for yourself. Okay. So there is a solid amount of stability coming your way. Okay. Be ready for that. Now. 
passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present and enjoy it so you may experience some passionate moments with someone imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities of your life all negativity is getting dissolved it could if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul so if you want to do something ask your heart playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer okay so have some playfulness in the connection a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you someone wants to say i love you to you someone is thinking about you okay so i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment on below okay so take care of yourself and have a great time ahead cancer bye bye